By anchoring the Costa Concordia securely, the team ensured that the ship would remain in a controlled position, allowing them to plan the next steps with greater precision and safety. In the next phase, engineers turned their attention to one of the most innovative aspects of the salvage operation, constructing a stable underwater platform, or false bottom, to support the Costa Concordia during the parbuckling process. To achieve this, teams deployed thousands of heavy-duty grout bags, large fabric sacks filled with a quick-setting cement mixture, and custom-designed shock-absorbing mattresses beneath the ship's hull. In addition, caissons were welded to the ship's side, providing extra stabilization and ensuring that the vessel's weight was evenly supported during the complex maneuvers ahead. These components were meticulously arranged in a precise grid pattern to distribute the immense weight of the vessel evenly across the platform. The grout bags provided a rigid, supportive base while the flexible mattresses acted as cushions, absorbing the tremendous forces generated during the ship's rotation. This carefully engineered false bottom not only allowed salvage teams to gradually pump out water from under the vessel, but also ensured that the structural stresses during the parbuckling maneuver were managed safely.